Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Now today I'm here with Shaman King episode number one. All right, before we start, um, I'm going to just say one thing is that uh, today I'm putting out this video like Shaman King's video because the video came out. I mean, uh, this was supposed to come out on Thursday, but because uh, the fan sub, uh, you know, the uh, no fan server took it up. Uh, it was like I was unable to post this on Thursday. But like I'm doing it today because the video came out today. So unless and until the you know uh, the person who's going to sub this is um like you know like is decided, the day might kind of fluctuate. You know because I'm uh, putting this out today. I was supposed to put out another anime reaction video today, which was Tatami Galaxy. I was going to start it in our, in my channel, but because Shaman King came out today, I'm posting Shaman King's video today. So. As I'm going to say, like, uh, this day might not be the day when I post out Shaman King. It might be Thursday or some other day. So please keep an eye out because I myself am not sure when, like, you know, when uh, the fan sub uh, version will come out. Uh, after one or two weeks, I would be able to kind of confirm that, yeah, this day, this day, every week, I'll be putting out Shaman King. So it's still not uh, like set in stone which day I'm going to post my Shaman King video. So please keep an eye out if you are interested in like uh, following my journey. All right. So about this uh, like anime, I've heard a lot about Shaman King, and I myself even decided to start Shaman King, react to Shaman, reacting to Shaman King, uh, the original one, the you know the old one. But uh, I saw that the new remastered version is coming out, so I decided to wait a bit and start this one. You know and uh, today we have gotten the first episode of shaman king so i'm going to react to it and like i have no idea what shaman king is about like this is a complete blind reaction i don't even know the characters nothing it's, it's just nothing i don't have any idea about what this show is about so this is like a complete blind reaction usually in like a lot of animes we have kind of uh you know a little bit of knowledge about like certain characters and stuff i have none about this anime this is like completely new for me and i've heard a lot of good things about this show uh, i I'm, I'm also sure like a lot of you people have like seen the old shaman king and like are like watching the new shaman king for the nostalgia and like for like you know like uh, all of that kind of things like you grew up with shaman king uh, this is like my you know my first time reacting to it so yeah i'm quite excited to see what this is about and uh, yeah and obviously like this is a timer reaction because copyright <laughs> copyright is a thing and i so i do usually do timer reactions so yeah like uh, that's like you know uh, like that's what my uh, channel is about so i'm sorry for that the video will be blurred and there will be no audio and there'll be a timer so you can like sync it to the video all right so those those of you who are new to my channel welcome and if you guys have already like have watched my videos uh, this is like a new thing that i'm doing uh, shaman king and i would like you know uh, like i'm like quite excited to see what this is about anyways enough enough talking let's start this episode so this is ep uh, episode number one of shaman king so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown Three, two, one, go. Eight, 1985, Izumo. Oh, what is this? What if they were twins? I didn't put one. Oh, so the baby is being born? Yeah. What? Why are they going to kill the baby? What the? Oh my god, what the hell? Oh! 
A demon baby. <laughs> what the hell? Incarnated with this garden. What the hell is happening? What? Oh, this is the guardian spirit. The great Omyoji who suddenly disappeared from this world thousand years ago. Asakura how? Oh yeah, they were saying that there's a there's a twin. The path of becoming the king. Oh, so he's planning to take his other twin to gain, gain more power. <coughs> he looks like Yorio. Oh. This is like an Omyoji story, okay. Shaman, okay. Oh, that's my Shaman King. Whoa, this is the opening. Okay. This has an extreme shonen vibe. I can feel it. Song as well. Whoa! Damn, <laughs> the, the opening is extremely good. So this will be like the both of the twins fighting each other or something like that. Like, you know, uh, the evil twin will try to... I'm guessing this is the evil twin they're showing in the opening. Like he'll try to get the other twin for more power or something and... Okay, okay. I can understand what this is about. I can have a vague understanding. Like this is like an Omyoji story with like those Shikigami and uh you know uh those uh sukumogami those kind of things what the hell who is this yeah don't, don't. oh my god he's Uh -huh. Oh <laughs> Oh my god That's That's Oh my god yeah he, he can He can see ghosts and spirits <laughs> They're bums that can't rest in peace. What? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, who is this? Another spirit? <laughs> Oya Mata, his name.
Oh my god, transfer student. Yeah, he's going to... <laughs> the face! <laughs> oh god. Oh. Oh, he's... He doesn't recognize him? Or is he like, acting? Or is, it, is this the twin or something? He's just He's just standing there <laughs> Oh he is He is that guy Yeah, yeah he is that guy Okay. Who links this world with that world? Okay. I'm a specialist in uh, you know spirits and ghosts and all. Amita. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so these ordinary people don't know about the shamans, that means. Put themselves and goals. Okay. Order. Okay, so they're like a medium. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh, these are the relics of Ami. Oh, he came here for the spirit. Oh. Wait a minute, this guy looks like that guy uh, in the school, the student. Is he like his ancestor or something? Yeah, he looks a lot like him. That guy in the school, you remember? Or am I wrong? Anyways. <laughs> oh, who are these people? Oh, the okay. Produce son. Oh my god! Hook! <laughs> Damn, his hair. This is Ryu son, okay. What's his style of hair called? Pompadour? Is it called that? I'm not sure about. Oh my god! Oh my god, he trampled his tomb. Oh! <laughs> Damn. Okay. Run. Oh no. 
Um, yeah, I'm just a passerby. Oh my god, he's mistaking him. <laughs> he got beat up. Oh no. Oh no, no, they're not alike. I kind of mistook. Okay. <laughs> Deserve. Oh. Oh, he also saw the ghost. I thought he, because he was with him, he saw it. So he has the inherent ability or something. Ah, don't worry, he knows the samurai ghost. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> the spirit of the samurai that that those guys trampled you know uh, not trampled the, the tombstone that they trampled oh my god okay damn his hair Oh, what was his name? Amma. Wait, this is that guy? Oh my god, he changed his. But he looked completely different in that, didn't he? Yeah, can he interact with normal humans? Because he's a spirit, you know? Oh, they're going to combine. Oh, this is how they're going to fight. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, okay, so I understand now. Got <laughs> that. Oh, he's fusing with the soul. All right, that's interesting. Oh my god. Oh, he... <laughs> His appearance also changed, kind of. Did it, or am I... Uh, yeah, he's like a medium for the spirits. Damn, this is interesting. Like, he's like. He's like doing fusion. <laughs> you brat. Okay. Yeah. And okay. Okay. <laughs> uh. Oh no, his hair. <laughs> Oh my god.
Oh. Yeah, he can like make others. Yeah. Asakura yo. I need to start remembering the names. Okay, the Shaman King. Hmm. What? For Mosque. Oh, it's a different. Oh, I made a mistake. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So that guy was someone else. Okay, okay, I'm going to. Okay. <laughs> Damn. He's like the swordsman and he's like the sword maker. That will surpass your efforts. Damn, that's something. The win-win situation. Oh no. Oh my god, what the hell? Wow. That's trash. Yeah, run away, like... Oh, oh, he... From the one day. Oh. oh no Oh, there you go. Yes, in the museum. Oh, okay, okay. Hmm. Oh yeah, he can make him possess him. <laughs> but he fused with Amidamaru, didn't he? So where is Oh he made Harusami with that. Okay, okay, okay.
Wow. Hmm. Yeah, what happened? <laughs> okay, wow. Oh, what the hell? Who is this? Basil. Damn. Let's say the ending. Oh, this is like one of those vocalite songs, isn't it? Like the voice? Is this a vocalite song? Oh, no, no, no. Vocalite songs are a lot more electronic, so. This sounds like a human sung it. Wow, the opening and the endings are both like. Fantastic in its own way. And I can say the animation looks pretty nice as well. Whoa! <laughs> the song! Oh, we have a skeleton! <laughs> okay. A lot of characters. Obviously, we're going to meet them. Okay, wow, that was a solid first episode, damn. Okay, that's the end, I'm guessing, yeah. Okay, so that's the end. All right, guys, so this was the first episode. I really enjoyed it. I am like truthful about this. I really enjoyed it. It was, um, what can I say? Like, obviously I had no clue what this was about. So this story is kind of like, as he said, that shamans, like, or there be more like, <coughs> this will be kind of uh, revolving around, I'm guessing, omyojis, uh, shikigami, sukumogamis, those kind of things, you know, uh, like, uh, like those kind of things things like japanese what can i say like yokais that like it'll be revolving around those things so uh yeah like i like i'm quite interested in what this uh like how this will uh advance and i think um, this uh the series is going to have 50 or 52 episodes i checked it out on my anime list and it was written like 52 episodes i think so this will be quite long and like I'm starting it starting it so it will like take uh, one year I'm guessing for all the episodes to end and obviously like I'm going to do each and every episode and the start was quite amazing and um, obviously I have no idea what the, like I've never <clears throat> I have no clue about what this anime or how the manga was so but from the first episode I can say that I am really enjoying the anime and okay so uh this episode so this episode uh, just introduced us to the um characters uh the first guy the main character is yo i forgot his last name i have to start remembering it <laughs> I, i'm guessing i'm eventually going to remember it and his name is yo and uh it, it was shown as if like when he was born he had a I'm guessing that was the like yo is one of those kids like one of those twins uh the good twin i'm guessing um so like when he was born uh, he had a twin brother with him and the twin brother turned out to be some kind of uh like uh, the twin brother turned out to have some kind of an evil guardian angel i'm guessing that thing that kind of popped out you know who like started attacking his dad and that uh, grandpa uh, grandfather and um and like it was like cradling the baby and said that i'm going to like you know like wait for the other twin and then we're going to uh, like fuse with each other and i'll gain more power and like it disappeared with the twin 
now <clears throat> like they were kind of saying the grandpa was kind of saying that we have we have to kill the baby and then like when the other person said that oh like we have twins so what are we going to do the grandpa said that we're going to kill both of them i'm guessing he said something like that because like he had the fear of like oh like which one will be the bad you know like the bad uh uh twin like the evil twin so uh, like for like because of that he said that we'll have to kill both of it if like problem arises or something like that but when uh, the evil twin like showed itself and like disappeared from that scene uh, like, uh, like it was all fine after that because obviously the other twin would be probably be good and i don't know how they got to know beforehand that the, some kind of evil you know spirit or something will possess the <coughs> twin most probably some kind of uh, a revelation or something you know uh, most probably because of that they got to know that yeah like we should probably uh, <clears throat> kill the baby before it becomes something uh, that we won't be able to stop but unfortunately the baby flew away <laughs> and uh, then we meet uh, a, another character i forgot his name what's his name that that guy with the uh, short little guy I need to start remembering the names. So obviously, like it's the first episode, so I cannot remember. But anyways, um, he uh, like he's like another character that was introduced. So, <clears throat> like uh, I'm guessing he is going to be one of the best friends of the main character. Uh, like how this is going, and the friends that he was talking with in school. There's this one guy who was kind of like sitting like this. He had small a small head and big huge body and there are another girl and another boy but <laughs> you know the funny thing is i thought that guy looked a lot like um the guy who was in the museum you know uh what was his name anyways i'm you guys can understand who i'm talking about the uh, like swordsmith and like <laughs> I don't know why but because like you know because of their body structure like uh, he like they have small head and big body so I thought like oh maybe the like he is his ancestor or something like that but turns out that's not the case <laughs> it's just like uh, like similar character designs but yeah and I made a big mistake over here I thought uh, the guy who was in the museum who is a swordsmith he is Amida, Amida Maru was that his name the actual swordsman i thought they were the same person because you know they were kind of saying that uh, like the, the strongest samurai uh, his relic is in the museum and on top of uh, the like relic he was sitting so i thought that oh like this must be the samurai and then when they introduced him the actual sam samurai in the uh, like graveyard i thought like what the hell like he completely changed like uh, did something happen like I was thinking like are these is that guy and this guy the same person and then I thought maybe like he you know like usually when anime characters kind of power up like their appearance change or something I thought maybe it is something like that but turns out that's not the case those two were different people like uh, the person who was in the museum was the swordsmith who made the weapons and this guy was the actual samurai who like killed uh, so many people and yeah and uh, like then like the whole thing happens with the graveyard and there's this new person with i'm guessing uh, the, the style of hair he has is called a pompadour isn't it i'm not actually sure but i think that is what it is called like we see a lot of characters having this hairstyle you know uh, for example um uh, in akamega kill there was a person i forgot his name uh, who had this kind of hairstyle in um yu yu hakusho kuwabara has this hairstyle and in hunter hunter uh th there's this other guy i also forgot his name he also has this hairstyle there's a lot of anime, anime characters with this hairstyle so yeah and uh, anyways like why the hell did i even talk start talking about hairstyles <laughs> and then like uh, this guy's like tramples upon the uh tomb of ami damaru and um yo he comes now i was at that moment i was thinking that how is yo even going to stop them you know i thought maybe yo himself had some powers like you know some uh, like strength or something but turns out that's not the case and uh, like when amidamaru came out and said that okay i'll teach you guys a lesson there was this one question mark in my mind i was thinking like how is amidamaru going to interact 
with these people because he is technically dead he's a spirit so like spirits interacting with the living people i don't think that's how it works because if spirits at least in this anime if spirits were able to interact with living people uh, the other spirits who were annoyed by those people they would have like kicked them out of that graveyard <laughs> you know they wouldn't just like keep waiting for them to go away they would have kicked themselves like them out themselves but that didn't happen so i kind of thought that oh like maybe spirits cannot interact with normal people turns out that is the case and so what uh, do we do in that case just fuse with the spirit <laughs> that's what yo did so yo shaman powers is kind of like a fusion power isn't it like he like uh, keeps his soul empty that's why like as uh, uh, the his friend said that little uh, uh, like the character he said that uh, that's why he keeps zoning out because he tries to keep his soul empty so that like he can fuse with the other souls now i have a few questions here first question i have is like maybe there is some bad soul you know like some evil like amitamaru is a good soul like he won't try to you know kind of like try to hijack his body but maybe there is some bad soul who like kind of acts like a good person at the beginning good spirit at the beginning he gets into Amida uh, uh, Yo's body and tries to you know take it for himself will that work or is there some kind of rules with this I'm not sure if that works then I'm guessing this will be a problem which I'm sure like they're going to explore later on but yeah this is just one thing that I thought another thing that I thought is even if even if uh like a famous samurai a famous bodybuilder or something some kind of spirit like that gets into the soul okay let's take um a famous bodybuilder huh. a famous bodybuilder with extreme strength like who does wrestling and stuff hmm, with huge muscles uh, that spirit gets into uh yo's body yo would not be able to like like his soul is fused with the body like he can do the techniques but he won't be able to like pull off the strength that that spirit actually had would he because you know yo is this guy who is extremely skinny and i don't know if he does kind of some kind of training or not but he, if he does not do like that intensive training uh, how will he be able to pull off the same strength that the bodybuilder spirit had like had when he was alive this is a question so i'm thinking like uh, yo would uh, like i'm not sure if he does it or not but uh, like he needs like he probably like works out you know for to be like strong enough so that uh, like his vessel does not like provide any restrictions to the soul that gets into that vessel you know so i'm guessing it's something like that because you know like if there's like this guy was a famous samurai this amida maru guy so he got in the into your soul and uh, because he was like fused with your soul he could like use those sword techniques because that's something that uh, like he had knowledge about he that's a technique that's one thing that you can replicate if you are fused with someone's soul but what about the physical strength you know what about the flexibility what about the speed those things you cannot you know replicate if the vessel of that body a soul is not strong enough like that's another question i have which uh, i'm sure we're going to get answered later on like these are like the restrictions that a certain body has even if the soul is strong enough if your body is not strong enough you won't be able to pull everything off so yeah that's one thing anyways um uh, like i'm getting too much into this but yeah <clears throat> and then like uh, like there's this uh, like they uh, give us the backstory of what actually happened like this guy uh, he and his friend amida maru they were like best friends uh, and they were like struggling like struggled to like keep for being alive to keep alive and then um like this one i'm gu guessing like uh the lord of the land or something like that like he uh like employed them and him uh, like because of his selfish desires of like yeah like this sword which uh, he gave me this should probably be the best sword and uh, i will not allow him to make a better sword than this so i should tell Amida Maru to kill that guy like that's nasty you know but anyways like uh, you know like selfish people will be selfish people <laughs> they'll 
like they'll do stuff like this but yeah and <clears throat> then like amitamaru uh, like uh, forges this uh, uh, like like strongest katana i'm guessing what was the name of the katana um harusame harusame i think i remember like why is the name harusame so like you know familiar harusame oh harusame uh, it was in naruto the the sword of kisame i'm guessing yeah so that's why i was thinking why is it so familiar this name harusame yeah 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 kisame sword was called harusame i'm guessing in naruto anyways that's something different but yeah um <clears throat> this guy like makes him uh, this bad, like like extremely strong sword harusame and uh, i'm guessing like those are the swords that he uses now and because like he died those swords were in the museum and like his friend like went into the museum as in was like you know like kind of not being able to pass on because he um like because he was unable to give that sword to him to amida maru and yeah and like um that's what uh, like he did like uh, yo did like he fused with his soul and like that harusame sword he like brought it back to amida maru and his friend uh, got his wish fulfilled he most probably passed uh, on but amida would probably amida maru would probably stay with them for quite a while because you know yo needs his power so yeah that was a good first episode and uh, like it's quite interesting to see like uh, like these are, this is like uh, you know like fusion like when like these like yo would probably fuse with different spirits and fight with the enemies and everything and i'm like in the end like we see another person like sitting down with another person in the back which i'm guessing is another shaman i'm not sure but it must, that must be it and yeah like and there's like a lot of questions i have like which i'm sure will get it answered because there's another thing that i am thinking like what if like can you like fuse two souls in your one body like you know can you do that uh, that's another question i'm sure like these uh, questions will be explored in the future episodes because it's quite uh, like a big anime so yeah and uh, yes i'm quite excited to meet all of these new characters uh, i might be a little like uh, in the beginning i might get a little bit of problem for like remembering the names but i'm sure like i'll start to manage you know like start uh, getting accustomed to the names so yeah but yeah the first impressions of uh, like this uh, this episode is like i like it and uh, like this is really uh, something interesting and yeah this is <clears throat> like what can i say like this is like obviously like this is a shonen anime i'm guessing and this is like what can i say like this gives off that vibe of like you know that uh, old shonen anime vibe and i'm really liking it I sp like especially like how the characters look and uh, you know like how the story is like starting it has that kind of like you know that uh, um, like old shonen vibe i'm really liking it so yeah like i'm sure a lot of people who are like watching this now must be like must have watched the original anime uh, and like you guys must be nostalgic like looking at it i'm not sure how this is compared to the like you know the original anime but like in my impression i'm really liking this uh this first episode so yeah like that's uh, something like you know like I, I like i was i was kind of thinking like should i start reacting to this because usually like uh like if the uh, animation studio mess up the adaptation it usually does not go good so but it turns out it's quite good and i'm liking it so yeah i'm quite excited for the future episodes so thank you guys for watching this was shaman king episode number one so as i said like uh, when the new episodes come out i will uh, post the video so the day when i post the video might kind of like you know like fluctuate like it might be one day before or my one day after i'm not sure whenever the video comes out i'll try my best to upload it on the same or the next day so yeah like just keep an eye out on the uh, like if i like post the video or not if i'm interested in like 
joining the journey and uh, so yeah guys thank you guys for watching so this was episode number one of shaman king if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed because it helps me a lot and also it will help you to keep track of when i post the videos so yeah and uh, comment down below your uh, impressions anything you want to say uh, anything you want to share about this anime uh, i'll be sure to check them out <coughs> so yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys again on the next video of shaman king so until then goodbye and have a nice day